ways that in the uh, in the winter time, one of the reasons that like flu and other uh, viruses spread so quickly is we spend much more time indoors and yeah. crowded things. So I'm not a doctor. Sure. I don't play one on TV. <laughs> But I do make house calls. Um, <laughs> being outside more in December, right. um, because the weather is so good, I would just think mm -hmm. that that would kind of help slow down things a little bit. I don't know. All right, let's hope so. No one wants the If flu. I'm wrong, my email will go crazy. But uh -oh. it was just a thought. But uh, <laughs> we'll take more of this uh, for a little while longer. But we do see some signs it'll turn a little chillier uh, next week. Okay. Uh, but still, nothing bitterly cold anytime soon. Hey, this is what it looked like in Northern Calvert County this morning in Owings. Beautiful uh, sunrise image sent to us by Bill Santif. Uh, thank you very much, Bill. Appreciate that gorgeous morning through the trees. As far as the numbers now, we're off and running into the 50s and 60s already. 59 in Winchester and Leesburg, 61 degrees in Frederick, a bit cooler in Hagerstown where it's 52. But there are a couple spots where the numbers are really high already. 62 at Andrews, 65 already in Fredericksburg. So as we get through the afternoon, I think we'll kind of settle down into the middle 60s. Now we're not going to have clear blue skies. We'll have times of sunshine. We'll have a little cloud cover from time to time, kind of high level clouds. But with southerly and southwesterly winds, that's the mechanism to draw in the warm warmer air even without full sunshine through the day. And it's just not our area. The entire Mid-Atlantic, the Carolinas, the Mid-South, the Ohio Valley, the Tennessee Valley, the Lower Lakes, you name it, they're enjoying very mild temperatures. 53 degrees in Detroit now, Columbus, Ohio, Pittsburgh at 56, 64 in Richmond, 70 degrees right now in Virginia Beach. And here's something that Claudia has talked about moving across the area, not producing any rain. There are a few little sprinkles, but you have to get way south into North Georgia and a few showers uh, northeast of Lake Huron in uh, Ontario and Canada. That's it. All we're seeing on radar right now as high pressure continues to dominate. So with high pressure still in the driver's seat and with the winds continuing out of the south and southwest, the numbers will continue to rise. So we're going to expect today some sunshine, 65, partly cloudy overnight, probably a little patchy fog again in spots unless the winds can stay up at about eight or nine miles per hour, 52. That's the low. Our low tonight will be warmer than our average high, which is 48. And then tomorrow looks like we'll hit about 68 degrees. So we're talking uh, very, very mild temperatures uh, throughout the entire period here. And even into the day, Sunday will be in the upper 60s. Now, the records for Washington this weekend are 71 degrees. So I don't, I don't think we'll, you know, who knows, it could happen, but probably upper 60s is where we'll stay. Still unseasonably mild. Monday will be breezy and uh, partly cloudy, increasing clouds through the day with a cold front approaching. That will give us a 60% chance of showers Monday afternoon and Monday night. Clearing, but look, we still stay around 60 on Tuesday and Wednesday. Then another cold front comes through with showers Thursday. And after that, we'll start to cool off a little bit. Still no signs of bitterly cold air. We need a major change in the upper level uh, weather pattern in the, across North America, including a substantial change in the jet stream pattern. And until that happens, there won't be any significant change to this overall weather pattern here. Okay. All right. All right. And I really don't make house calls. I want to get that clear. Okay, really... so don't email him about house calls. No, don't do it. <laughs> All right, Doug. Okay. Thank you. Seven is on your side now with the consumer alert. Airlines are now banning passengers from taking those hoverboards on board planes. Holy cow. You see that right there. It follows growing concerns about these hot new rides getting a little too hot. American, United, JetBlue, and Delta are all banning the two-wheeled machines just before holiday travel ramps up. Hoverboards are powered by a lithium battery that have concerned airlines for years. Overstock.com announced yesterday it's also stopping hoverboard sales amid these safety concerns. Coming up on ABC 7 News at noon, getting pumped up for the championship. Our Johnny G has details on one of tomorrow's big state championship games. We'll be right back. Happy moments with 50% off the entire store at Jimbery. Happening now. ABC 7 News, your school closings headquarters. Did you know pain is caused by aggravated nerves? Aspercream with lidocaine is revolutionary relief. In just minutes, it desensitizes your aggravated nerves to block pain with no odor or irritation. Aspercream with lidocaine. Relieve the nerves, stop the pain. This is Jenny. She got home late and doesn't have the time or culinary degree she needs to make that super easy recipe she found online. Even so, she tries her best. Half a red bell pepper.